This is a compilation of all the school mode endings from Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. These are taken from our playthrough, which you can find linked at the end. If you enjoyed it, please leave a comment, then like and subscribe if you would like to. The morning of the 51st day arrived, and Monokuma told us all to head to the gym. Good morning! Quiet down and listen! Good morning! As you should all know, today brings an end to the period of time I promised to you. But it sure was a long time, huh? You all got up to this and that, that and this. Of course, that's only because you were slacking off instead of focusing on building decent backups. I was ready to die from boredom. That's a worse way to die than reaching out to grab a salmon than slipping and tumbling over a waterfall. If you were so bored, why didn't you just make your own backups? What? What did you say? What did you just say? Ah! I'm so flippin' angry right now! What the hell, man? We totally made you a backup. You did? You made this. You created it. You assembled it. To put it more succinctly, this was you. This is no Monokuma! It's a stupid pink rabbit! Are you trying to deny my entire existence? I didn't ask you to put your own spin on this. If you are going to criticize us for our creativity, I would suggest you give us more concrete instructions. So it would seem. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> it's like you handed us a sketchbook and gave us some vague specifications, now you're all mad! Just give up. Indeed. If you're going to complain about it, build your own damn backup however you see fit. What are you gonna do? I guess I have no choice. Your real school life is going to have to start right now. I didn't want to have to do it, but I guess I'm going to have to lift the ban. Lift the fan? On what? <laughs> On something that should make you all work a little harder. It looks like the carrot I put in front of you isn't working, so it's time to put the stick behind you. Um, are you talking about some kind of punishment? What the heck? Well, you guys deserve it, don't you? You didn't satisfy my request even a little bit. Stop fucking around. You're the one who kept demanding all that silly shit. Without all that, we would have been fine. Yeah, quit trying to blame us all for all this. Blah, 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 all you want. My mind's made up. <laughs> From this point forward, each time you fail your project review, I will select one of you to be the class representative, and that person will be punished. And... Punished? What does that mean exactly? In other words... Well, to put it simply... Merit. Execution. What? Execution? <laughs> Surprised, huh? I guess it's time I showed you who's boss. What? Ridiculous. You can't be serious. You can't kill someone for something like that. What's the big deal? I just moved the schedule up a little bit, that's all. Huh? The schedule? What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> that part's still a secret. Now then. So, for now, let me just announce who will be punished this time. Huh? You're lying, right? can't be serious. You're seriously gonna punish us? Of course. Didn't you hear me the first time? Well, you got cotton in your ears? Okay, then. Who should I pick? <laughs> Just kidding. I already know. Today's punishment goes to... <laughs> Makoto! You're up, big boy. What? Hold on a second. You're gonna punish me? How come? Well, see, an average useless kid like you either dies first, or turns out to be the main character. So this time, let's make you the one that dies first. You can't be serious. Okay, let's get this show on the road. Wait, this isn't... why are we... Now then, I prepared a very special punishment for Makoto Naigi, the ultimate lucky student. Let's give it everything we've got! It's punishment time! Hold it! Huh? I won't forgive you! What the... Hey, what's going on now? No fucking way! That robot we made, did it just... <laughs> it moved! And talked! What... What is this? Everyone! It's a miracle is what it is. The miracle everyone hoped and wished for. Huh? You heard our wishes? Then you're alive? What are you? That's right. 
I am Usami. Specifically, the amazing messenger from the future, magical miracle girl Usami. Now listen here, Monokuma. It's time to give it up. But you're not supposed to show up yet! If you make your entrance now, the timeline's gonna get all... No questions allowed. Knock it off! Are you seriously gonna try and finish me right here? You. Absolutely! Yeah, 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 yeah! Stop! Yeah. And now for the coup de gras! You saw me final splash spark! <laughs> Justice always prevails. Oh. This wasn't supposed to happen till the sequel. I hope you've learned your lesson, mister. Stop all this nonsense and let them go. Mm. Okay. Here, take it. Whatever you want. Monokuma handed something to Sami, then left on wobbly legs. Huh? What the hell? What, what, what? What'd we create, man? Is it gonna go out and destroy the entire human race? You. It's a good question. What are you? Um, let's see. That's right. I represent the bond you've all created here. Got it? And that bond itself represents a fragment of hope. The light from each one of you has overlapped, creating me, a road sign leading you from the future. Everyone. You did great, everyone. From the future? What are you thinking? What do you mean by that? Got it? That's not important. And since it's not important, I don't need to tell you. Now put your collective hand out, I have something for you. And what she gave us was the same thing Monokuma had just given her. This is... Oh. It is some kind of device. Perhaps. If I had to guess, I would say it's... That's right. Press that button and the door in the main hall opens up wide. Um, then... I see. We can leave? Let's do it! Yeah, boy! That's good. I'm so happy. It was a long, hard road, but finally... I'm just so glad we all made it out here together. Yeah, that's awesome. Super awesome. <laughs> Usami watched us all celebrating, a smile on her face. I had no idea what Usami really was, but one thing I did know was that she saved us. Which is why I wanted to make it a point to thank her. Usami, um... Thanks for saving us. We owe you our lives. You don't need to thank me. You're the ones who brought me here. And now from this point on? Huh? Actually, never mind. Everyone. Listen, everyone. All the time you spent here together, all the time you spent building up your hope, your bond, no matter what, don't lose that. Don't give in to despair. Please, just do your best. Sami? Hey, she just stopped. Did she run out of batteries? That can't be it. We never installed any kind of power supply. Then how did she move around in the first place? Stop talking! This is all totally a cult! Maybe he's right. But no matter what Usami was, she stood up to Monokuma and saved us all. It's not always true, however, that the enemy of your enemy is your friend. Why do you gotta ruin things every frickin' time? Can't you just say nothing and let us enjoy this? Yeah. Anyway, let's get the hell out of here! Good idea. Monokuma might change his mind and come back, and then we're all in trouble. Okay. And let's get ready to split. I was just about to say that. Everyone started getting ready to leave. Meanwhile, I turned back toward Usami one more time. Usami? but there was no reaction at all. It was like everything she'd done before was just a hallucination. Makoto. What is it, Kyoko? Hey. What Usami told us. The bond that we created here. That bond is a fragment of hope. However, what do you think she meant by that? I can't be sure, but I think she meant that the connections we form between each other, that's where hope is born. Correct. Our connections are hope? 
to share a connection with another. That creates a light that can dispel any darkness. I see. And that light illuminates the road into the future. Is that what you're saying? Okay. The connection between a few people might just be one little fragment, but... The more people you bring together, the brighter that fragment can shine. Yeah, I think you're right. Over these last few weeks, we've all gotten something from each other. I know that much for sure. Before we arrived, each of us was a tiny little fragment scattered throughout the world. We each had something we were trying to carry within us alone. We had no idea that the consequences of that kind of thing led to despair every single time. But that's what we learned while we were here, while we worked together hand in hand. All it takes is holding someone's hand in yours, and that despair starts to fade. And if it doesn't go away with two people, then three. And if that's not enough, just keep adding more. And now we're all going to leave here together, just like that. Huh? Junko, is something wrong? Aww. No, I'm fine. Could it be... You're probably thinking the same thing I am. Huh? So, um... Once we get out of here, is everyone going to go their separate ways, or will we stay in touch? I mean, we're all friends now, right? So... Hina. This is not a final farewell. The time we spent here together, the memories we created, will always be real. So it would seem. Yeah, Sakura's right. If it's too sad for us to part ways, then let's not part ways. <laughs> yeah, we should meet up every once in a while and talk about the good old days. Yay! That sounds like fun. I see. Yes, what a splendid idea. Renewing old friendships is an excellent way to enrich your life. But I don't really want to remember anything about this place. Yo. Well, it's not like we gotta just sit around remembering stuff, right? <laughs> anyway, it is still far too early to be planning that kind of thing. <laughs> That's true. First, we all have to get out of here. And we can each go back to wherever we came from. That's right. Back. Back to those boring, peaceful, incredibly important days. Together with everyone else. That fragment of hope each of us had buried within our hearts. The future born from that hope might have moments of despair. But even so, everything has to begin from there. Maybe I should talk with everyone a little more before we go. Taka, we're about to get out of here, but you don't look too happy about it. Makoto, don't laugh, okay? Huh? I'm... scared. Here we have structure, order, discipline. What's waiting for us out there? I don't see it as just escaping, you know? Couldn't you say that as students, we're protected by the school? That's what I started thinking about while we were sealed up in here. I see. Graduating from high school and going out into the world definitely takes courage. You hear me? But still, I know we can't just stand here. I think I learned that here too. Taka. In other words... I still hate geniuses. That definitely hasn't changed. But other parts of me have changed. All that matters is that I keep pushing forward. I had it all wrong, you know. I always thought that showing emotion, showing concern or pain was a sign of weakness. But that's not true at all. And you taught me that. Quiet down and listen! Thank you, Makoto. You don't know how grateful I am. This place was strange, definitely, but I also learned a lot while I was here. I'm very happy right now. So I'm glad I got to spend my time here. I feel the same way. Our time here was bizarre, that's for sure, but we built some good memories, too. Which is why I have to believe this isn't the last time we'll see each other. Hey! Makoto. Huh. You hear me? I need you to promise me something. You do? Listen to me! Remember what I told you before? About taking aim and doing our best together? Oh, um... Keep trying and the world will reward you. Listen to me! That's right! And I want you to help me achieve that! Wait, what? But that's just like a figure of speech, right? In other words... No! It's more than that! This world doesn't belong to the geniuses. Try hard enough and your efforts will pay off. I'll see to that myself. And to do that, I've decided to become a politician. Oh, wow. His grandpa was a politician, so I'm sure he has what it takes to become one, too. You understand? Why are you standing there like this doesn't concern you? You have to become a politician, too. 
Together we can advocate for my ideas and change this country. What? No, no way. There's no way I could become a politician. Totally impossible. <laughs> In the face of effort, nothing is impossible. <laughs> Taka's face was shining with an inner glow. I saw then that no matter what darkness might stand before him, he would shine through it. He stood there, smiling, talking about the future he was going to create. And I realized that it was one of many shapes that hope could take. Hmm. So, our time here has come to an end. Still, I have no intention of leaving things as they are. In the name of my family. I will find out why we all got caught up in this deplorable situation. After all, I am the Chosen. My Togami name demands total victory. What are you thinking? What was Monokuma's true identity? And what was he trying to accomplish here? In this case, victory means exposing those truths. Well, for me, it's not about winning or anything. I just need to know. I have to know why we had to go through something like this. Such ignorance. So what? You expect me to come running to you with any details I might happen to dig up? Who are you to ask that of me? Wait, I... I don't have time to play with if you, you really want to know the truth, if you really want to win, you must earn it for yourself. Okay, but there's no way I can do this by myself. Listen, Makoto. Do you plan to help me or what? What? Make me repeat myself. I'm asking what your intentions are. Are you going to help me punish whoever is responsible for this? Hold on, why me? I'm just another normal person. You told me never to talk to you again, right? That's fine. It is annoying to admit, but the time I spent here has made me realize one thing. What was it? The more time I spent with all of you, the more I saw just how ignorant you all are. I've spent my entire life learning how to lead. The way you live is incomprehensible to me. But because I don't understand it, Such ignorance. it might be good for me to keep an ordinary person like you around to explain it to me. There is no point in trying to understand the foolish ideas of the masses myself. Okay, so you want me to be your secretary? It's all clear now. With the promised salary, $550,000 a year. And if that's not good enough, I'll gladly pay you more. Do we have a deal? He phrased it as a question, but it had the unmistakable feel of a command. But even though we'd become closer, I could still feel that distance between us. Well, hurry up and answer, you clod. Well, the salary part doesn't really matter. What are you thinking? What do you mean? Do you not want to be paid? I mean, regardless of that, I want to help you. So, I'll do my best, Byakuya. One mistake, and you're fired. Understand? I'd made my decision. I'd taken control of the direction of my life, and it led me to Byakuya. Now, my goal is to show Byakuya that the way I live can bring someone happiness. For the first time since coming to this school, a vivid image of the future filled my heart. It's almost time. We're almost free. Yeah. Hey. Now I can get back out on my hog. Damn, man. She must be so lonely. Hell yeah. I'll have to take extra special good care of her once I get back. So are you gonna go back to the Crazy Diamonds then? Yeah. I told you, didn't I? I? After everyone in the gang graduates, I have a new goal. Oh, um... You're gonna become a carpenter, right? Right. I've destroyed so much stuff, man. Now it's time to start creating it. It was tough for me to admit at first, but now I don't even care if you laugh at me. I'm not gonna laugh. Ain't that right. 
You're a hell of a guy, Makoto. Oh, I know. Once I become a world-class carpenter, I'll come and build you a kick-ass house. Better look forward to it. it. Sounds awesome. I'll be waiting. It's a place for my best friend to live, so I'm gonna give it everything I got. So till then, don't buy a house, okay? Wait, what? But... So that's it. Yeah, what else is there? Jesus Christ. What, you think I can't become a fucking awesome carpenter? No, not at all. I know you can do it. Hell yeah. Damn straight. Alright, and it's a promise. A man's promise. Yo. Whatever it takes, I'll become a friggin' amazing carpenter and build you a friggin' amazing house. Mondo thrust out his hand. I held out my own, and he gripped it tight and gave it a powerful shake. We can't know what's waiting for us out there, but as long as we have hope, we'll have a future. Hell yes! Finally, we're getting our asses out of here! None of this made any damn sense, but it's over! Yeah, you're right. You know what I mean. But man, what the hell was Monokuma's deal? And I guess I originally came here to, you know, go to school. But I didn't want to go here anymore anyway, so whatever. Really? Huh? What, you don't believe me? No, it's not that. It seems like... But graduating from here is like being on the winning team, right? Why would you want to throw that away? Hey, you bastard! Oh, well, I already decided. I'm gonna go back to playing baseball. You know... Does that make me lame? No, not at all. I think it's a great idea. <laughs> Thanks. I just gotta beg my old team for forgiveness. Leon looks... really happy. But there's something I'm worried about. By the way, can I say just one thing? Sure, what's up? What about singing? Yeah, of course. What, did you think all I was going to do from now on was play baseball? Uh, well, it's not like I doubt your dedication. I just thought it'd be really hard to focus on baseball and singing at the same time. Stupid. Don't you understand? That's exactly why I have to do both. Huh? You know what I mean. An athlete can only play for so long, you know? Even as the ultimate baseball star, I know I won't be able to play for the rest of my life. Yeah! But when you're a star player, you have the chance to go on talk shows and stuff, right? pitch for a while, then go on to become the ex-baseball star who's a totally famous singer now. It's a totally new approach, huh? Yeah, it's new, that's for sure. <laughs> right? Not just a baseball player, and not just a singer. It's an all-new approach, just for me. But, you know, the only reason I was able to figure out this new approach is because you were there to listen to me all those times. That's what I think, anyway. But, I didn't do anything. Hey, listen. Come on, don't say that. You're getting a huge thanks from a future superstar. Just accept it. Leon was grinning from ear to ear. He was beaming. Okay then, I accept. Let's do it. Nice. Seriously, Makoto, thank you. I'm sure that from now on, no matter what challenges Leon might face, I'll conquer them all. His smiling face, standing there with me, talking about the future. That's an unforgettable symbol of our hope. Finally, the day has arrived. We've been through so much, but now it's goodbye to Stink High. You look really happy, Hifumi. I very much am. How much time have we lost being locked away in here? How many games have I missed? How many comics? How much anime has come and gone while I was in here? Just thinking about it. It makes me lose my appetite. It makes me feel like I'm gonna explode. Really? But there are still so many unsolved mysteries. Like, what was the deal with Monokuma? I suppose... It's true, there's a lot we don't know. But it's not like we figured anything out while we were in here, either. And in the meantime, I haven't been able to make use of my talent at all. That's true. Now that you're free, you can get back to work. Then let's get out of here together. Absolutely. We've reached our goal and at the same time created a new starting line. Right. Let's do this. Hmm. Oh. What's wrong? What happened? Well... For your first question, yes, something is wrong. And what happened is that nothing happened. Mr. Nagi, I do hope you remember our promise. Promise? <laughs> so, you don't remember. Remember what we agreed? When we got out of here... Um... 
Do you really not remember? What? No, I do, I do. Hmm. Please stop staring at me. I'll join you as your friend. You got it. That's right. You get to observe me as my closest friend, following my every footstep. And then you get to narrate my story to the entire fanfic world. It will be your duty to pass my legacy on to future generations. Which is why, Mr. Nike, you will serve as my assistant. Digital art is the new thing, so we don't have to worry about ink stains anymore. And with the digital age, I don't find myself drowning in manuscripts anymore either. Nor will we have to worry about little pieces of screen tone flying this way and that. I do pride myself on my visual flair, though, so I still have to work as hard as ever. You know, Hifumi, I think I understand your feelings. I'm a total amateur, so I don't know what most of what you just said means, but... I'm okay standing by you as your friend. Then don't hesitate. An opportunity like this is most rare indeed. And remember, yes, indeed. this isn't just about publicizing my creations. It's about recording the process. As my assistant and my historian, I will hold on to you forever. Hold on to me? I think I might have a problem with that. OMG STFU! I was just speaking metaphorically. Although I think all those yaoi fangirls out there would be totally into it. So, Mr. Nagi, be my assistant. Be my true friend. And that was it. Ifumi said all that with a shy look on his face, but he didn't turn away. I'm looking forward to it. And let's make it official. With that, he shook hands. I don't know what the future holds, but I know what to expect when it comes to the people here. Ifumi has his own hope, and I have to think about how I can support him in that. For the first time since coming to the school, a vivid image of the future filled my heart. <laughs> we can finally get out of here! Pretty awesome, huh, Makoto? Yeah. You know? But we'll still be pretty busy once we're out. Remember what you gotta do? What do I have to do? Attend that seminar? Yo. Bingo! You remembered! Not that I wanted to, but... You, know? you just gotta attend that one little seminar. Well? Oh, and then we gotta find our collective baby's mama and raise all our kids together. I seriously don't want to be involved in that. You know? Doesn't matter. The vision came to me, and so there's nothing we can do about it. Once you and me are, uh, blood brothers, then I can show you my O Parts collection. If they haven't already been stolen, anyway. I'm sure they'll be fine. I don't think anyone would want that stuff. But why do we need to raise our kids together? Um... Why? For the sake of their mother! Okay, so... Since I won't give you my organs and my identity, you don't care about me? For serious? Well... How about that? Just keep taking care of yourself, stay with me, and then... <laughs> what? Shoot, did I say that one out loud? Joking, joking. Just just my little joke. <laughs> you can't just laugh that off. <laughs> Please. Sorry, I guess I'm just too honest. Seriously though, I'd like you to stick around. Huh? You know? You show me that even when you hear my true feelings, you don't abandon me. You just, you know, take me how I am. Well? Having you array around is a way for me to like reaffirm my existence. That's how much you mean to me. I see. Hiro kind of lives at his own pace, so it's probably hard for him to open up to other people. I wonder if he even realizes himself what he's looking for. for serious. Plus, I need you to sacrifice yourself in order to secure my future. I said no! I mean... Jeez, Makoto. After all we've been through, you're still so stubborn. Was everything he said just a lie to get me to do what he wants? I can't trust a word he says. But even so, that's still the true Hiro. I don't know what the future holds, but I know what to expect when it comes to the people here. Hiro does have hope of his own, and I have to think about what I can do to help him reach it. For the first time since coming to the school, a vivid image of the future filled my heart. Will that device really let us escape? I'm sure of it. We just have to believe in Usami. You seem really excited, Makoto. What? Is it that obvious? That's right. Yeah, 
I've never seen you with such a wonderful smile. I bet you have all kinds of stuff you want to do once you get out of here. I can feel that desire overflowing from you. Well, I'm sure you feel the same way, right? Chihiro? You know? I don't know. I don't know what I should do once we get out of here. I have a goal. I know what I want to become, but... What should I do? How to reach that goal, I have no idea. Makoto, what should I do? Just let yourself get immersed in it. That's right. Yeah, we talked about that, didn't we? I do feel like I'm starting to understand, but still... Listen, Chihiro, you don't need to rush things. Just keep your goal in front of you and move toward it at your own pace. Changing your outlook is good, but it's not as simple as just rushing headlong into toward something. It's okay for you to figure out the right speed to move at. Huh? Makoto. Even if that means taking things slow, as long as you don't give up, you'll always be making progress. I see. Yeah, you're right. Thank you. I feel like maybe I'm not afraid anymore. That's good. I'm glad I could help. Uh, um... Then, do you mind if I take my first step right here? If I don't do it now, I feel like... Once I get outside, I won't be able to do it. Of course I don't mind, but is it really something you can do right here? Yeah. Chihiro closed her eyes, took a deep breath, and let it out slowly. And then... You know? I want to tell you something, Makoto. If you can, please don't be too surprised. Uh, um... I... I... I'm... a boy. Huh? What do you mean? You know? Well, um, um... I'm actually... a guy. <laughs> um... Makoto? What? Uh, oh, sorry. I, I scared you, didn't I? But, I mean... I didn't mishear you, right? You just said... You're actually a guy? I tried to be more like you. Does it not suit me? It's not even about it suiting you. I mean, since you're a girl. No. No, I mean it. I'm a guy. Um, listen. I don't know why now of all times you're trying to be funny. You're right. It does seem like a joke, doesn't it? But, but it's the truth. Tears stood in his eyes but his face was determined, unwavering. Chihiro wasn't joking. That much was clear. But at the same time, if you really want proof, you can go ahead and check. Check? I mean, I obviously can't tell just by looking at you. Are you saying I should touch? I can't do that. What should I do? Th then... Hold on, Jihiro! Without warning, he grabbed my arm, I yelled out, but he ignored me, and... Wah! Pushed my hand up against his chest. Huh? But the shape, the form I'd expected to feel, wasn't there. Now, do you believe me? Yeah. I was still confused, so confused, but I nodded. Chihiro, he was a man, no different from me. Uh, I'm sorry. I did surprise you, didn't I? Well, I'm surprised you're a boy, yeah, but I'm more surprised at how bold you were. Um... Well, that's... it's just because I had to be. To become who I really am, to have the strength to tell the world who I am, to reach my goal. You know? So, can I tell you my story? From there. Chihiro explained how he had taken on the identity of a girl. He told me how he'd been teased for being so frail as a child, and how that affected him. He told me how he retreated into a feminine identity, embraced the assumed weakness of it. Um, but... Being here with everyone, talking to you so much... I, just I to... decided that I wanted to change. I didn't want to be weak anymore. I didn't want to lie to anyone. I wanted to become my true self, so that we could all become true friends. Chihiro. You know? So, Makoto, after hearing all that, 
it might just cause you even more trouble, but... Even though I pretended to be a girl, even though I've been lying to you this whole time, will you still be my friend? Yes, of course. You mean it? I respect your strength and your courage so much. Respect? No, I'm not that strong. I don't think I could tell anyone else but you. Don't say that. You're stronger than anyone I know. It's hard for anyone to acknowledge their own weaknesses, you know. But you faced your weakness, and you took steps to overcome it. So don't say you're not strong, because you are. Makoto. Thank you. You're always there to encourage me like this. Whenever I get scared and want to stop, you're right there behind me, pushing me forward. You know? So, until I'm strong enough to be my true self in front of everyone, I hope you'll be there to support me. Um... Maybe I'm just being naive, but... Can we keep spending time together like this? Just talking about whatever comes to mind? Absolutely. We're friends, right? You can talk to me about anything, whenever you want. And I feel like I can talk to you about anything, so there's no reason we can't stay close. I'll be counting on you too, okay? Okay. We may not always be there for each other individually, but we still have to all work together. We know we're not alone, which helps us work harder even when we are alone. And embracing that hope, we take step after step into the future. <sighs> it's finally time. But it took so long just to get here. You mean, to the gym? No, silly. What I mean is we're finally ready to leave Hope's Peak Academy. W right, sorry. No, it's okay. I'm sure what I'm saying doesn't make any sense. But what I'm feeling doesn't make much sense either. I feel like so many miracles had to happen for me to get out of here. I can't explain the sensation, but... Why? Sayaka. I feel the same way. You know, I'm really happy I get to be here with you. Me too. For so long, I... I've been waiting for the day when you and me could meet and walk down the same path together. But in the end, I decided that fate had decided we wouldn't be together. That's good. And yet, here you are, standing right next to me. So many miracles have come together to allow me to be where I am. But the whole time, I completely, absolutely believed it would turn out this way. Do you know why? I... I wish I could say I did. Um, listen. Because of the promise you made, that we would get out of this together. What? I said that? No, not exactly. Th then... What? I sensed you making that promise. Some version of you. The things you said? We'll get out of here, whatever it takes, absolutely. I heard you say all that. Ah. As long as we work together, I'm sure we can find some way out of here. And help might even come before that. But what if there isn't a way out? What if help never comes? If that happens, then I'll get you out of here myself, no matter what it takes. What was that? Did that conversation ever actually happen? No, but somehow you remember? Me and you. I... That's why I had faith. I knew that until we reached this future, you would never give up. I'm so happy. So, thank you. I'm happy now. So happy. A single tear rolled down Sayaka's face. You know, I think I made another promise too. Sayaka said she would be my assistant and I promised that we would work together to get out of the school. But I... I... Sayaka... Sorry. Uh, um... Why are you apologizing? You didn't do anything wrong. No, I did. I made you wait for so long. I definitely have to apologize for that. I'm sorry for making you wait. <laughs> Makoto... I knew you were going to say that. What? You see... I knew everything. I knew you would never give up until it was all over. That's why I was able to go through this, why it didn't hurt. Like I said, I'm psychic. Cause I'm psychic, you know? I was nearly blinded by Sayaka's smile. 
whatever problems I might run into from now on, as long as I have her with me, everything will be okay. If there were any miracles, it wasn't because of me. It's because of her and everyone else. <laughs> Our life here has finally come to an end, and yet we weren't able to solve a single mystery. It is kind of a letdown, but maybe we can keep searching after we get out. Indeed. I have no intention of letting things end like this. Do you feel the same way, Makoto? Definitely. I want to know what happened here. And? But is that it? Do you remember what you said? If we want to trust each other, we need to get to know each other. Makoto. Do you still believe that? Do you want to trust me? Do you want to know me? Yes, of course. Correct. Okay, then let's test you one more time. Huh? So then... We talked about this before, but what is it I'm afraid of? What you've already lost? Thank you. You do remember. Of course I remember. It's important to you, so it's important to me. Correct. I see. So to overcome that fear, I intend to continue searching for what it is I lost. What is it you lost? Sorry, you said you didn't want to talk about it anymore, huh? Indeed. Knowing that, can you still put your trust in me? What I'm asking is, you haven't given up on coming to know me, have you? I can't possibly imagine doing that. So then... Then, will you help me? Help me find what it is I lost. What? What? What's with that reaction? Was it really so unexpected? N not exactly. You just surprised me. I just... I figured you'd be focused on those people who you considered family. However... Well, either way, our interests align, don't they? If you want to win my trust, you'll need to be at my side always. And I feel like, if I have you with me, I'll be able to find what I'm looking for. When she said that, she maintained her normal composed attitude. But earlier, for just a second, I thought I spotted an instant of emotion. And I don't think I was imagining it, and her cheeks showed just a hint of red. Did I maybe get a quick peek behind the mask, and get a glimpse of her real feelings? Hey. Why do you remain silent? Do you have an answer for me? Yes. I look forward to working with you. Indeed. I took Kyoko's gloved hands in mine. And someday, I'd like to find out what's under these gloves. I couldn't predict where my connection with Kyoko would lead me. It was impossible to say. But what I did know is that I had the unwavering desire to find out. <laughs> we can finally leave! Yeah, you're right. But we never found out why all this happened in the first place, huh? Someone tricked us, sure, but why would anyone want to do all this? Yeah. Oh well. All I care about now is getting out of here and stuffing as many donuts in my face as I can handle. Glazed donuts, jelly donuts, chocolate donuts, bear claws, crawlers, berliners, you name it. I'm just gonna eat and eat and eat till I pass right out. <laughs> so that's what got you the most excited, huh? Well, what else is there? Oh, well, don't you remember what you said? Weren't you gonna go for the gold? Even if it means you're a super gold spaz? Why'd you have to bring up that last part? Uh, sorry, it's not like I see you that way. It's just, that's your goal, right? I thought you wanted to do whatever it took to reach it. Okay. Well, yeah, of course that's my goal. I'm gonna keep on aiming higher and higher. So, um... But... I just thought that the very first thing I wanted to do when we got out of here was go get a donut with you. With me? But I mean... We're together right now, right? Mm. No, it's no good here, because, I mean, mm. this isn't a good place to do another practice one. I want to do more date testing. More date testing? You still want to keep doing that? So, um... I remember what you said before, that it's okay for me to be me. And I understand that. Yeah. Who I am right now is the best me there is, and a second later, that's the best me there is. Okay, so why do you want to keep doing these practice runs? How about if it's not a practice run? Would you go on a real date with me? Yeah, sounds nice. R really? 
You want to? Even if I'm all chomp chomp gulp chomp on donuts all the time, you won't get grossed out? That's just who you are, right? If I said it was gross and you had to try to change to make me happy, that wouldn't be any fun. You got it! Yeah, you're right. True love is when two people can be themselves and still have fun with each other. And I like who you are right now, too. Ah, crap. I was gonna wait and say all that stuff on our date. <laughs> but, but that's just me, too, right? The blunt me. Without you, I'd never have the confidence to just be myself. Thank you. Yeah. So now you're gonna be on my side, like, all the time, right? No, more than that. Together forever. Hina's smile when she said that was positively dazzling. No matter how dark things might get for me, as long as I have that smile by my side, I'll be okay. To me, Hina is the embodiment of that ray of hope. What's your problem? Jeez, what's everyone so happy about? Why shouldn't we be happy? How can you stand there acting all carefree like nothing's wrong? You're acting like everything's just fine, but we didn't solve any of the mysteries here. Maybe, but right now I'm focused on what comes next. We all have things we want to do once we get out. Oh yeah, for example, you've got the new novel to publish, right? What novel? You know, the one you showed me. It's totally different from anything you've done before. I think everyone's going to be really surprised. And it's really good. I'm sure everyone's going to love it. Why are you getting so excited? I have no intention of publishing it. Uh, why not? You were so excited about it. You said how you wanted to keep working on it. So what happened? Did you hit another slump? Don't steal my lines. And I don't know why you're acting so surprised. It's my story and my decision. There's no reason for you to be surprised or to care about it at all. But... We're friends. It's only natural to care about them, to get excited for them. Maybe. I did say something like that, didn't I? When you're in a slump, it's supposed to be your friends that cheer you up. That's right. If you're having trouble writing new stories, I'll cheer you up. Then, help me right now. Okay, what do you want me to do? For now, I'm not going to publish the novel. Well, why not? C come on, let me finish, okay? Sorry. I'm not going to stop writing or anything, but I'm not sure if I can write like I used to. Because of you, I'm losing my power of delusion. I can feel it going dark. What? Because of me? Because of how much attention you've been giving me, I don't have time for my delusions. You have to take responsibility for what you did. But what am I supposed to do? Do you want me to, like, come up with more delusions for you? Are you stupid? Why would I ever want any of your delusions? Okay, so what can I do? Well... You can stay with me, and... And together we... Er... I... I'm, I'm asking you to be with me. What? Do I really need to spell it out for you to understand? Or did you want me to say it, demon? No, that's not it. I'm you. I can't have my delusions anymore because you genuinely wanted to spend time with me. Even though I kept doing things wrong, saying the wrong things, you... you never ran away. But I'm sure you'll say no. If we stay together, eventually... I'll stay with you. I promise. Huh? We're friends, right? So if that's what you need, I'm there for you. N no, actually, what, what I mean is not just as a friend, but... <laughs> I'm a little embarrassed to actually say it out loud. It's okay, then. You don't have to say it. Some things do need to be said, but... Sometimes it's enough to have the thought in your heart, right? Yeah. But still... You 
made a promise, right? And I'm not gonna forget. Don't worry, I'll keep my promise. And listen, maybe you'll go back to writing romance novels, but someday, I want to read that story. You really are a fool. Did you already forget what an eye novel is? Huh? Eye novels are based on their author's experiences, right? Does that mean you're gonna start writing about a romance between us? What? Makoto? Your disgusting delusions are completely prohibited. My stories are tales of true love. Got it, but is this acceptable? As I said that, I put out my hand. She stared at it for a long time. I suppose. This is probably how chapter one would end. Finally, she took my hand. I looked into her eyes and saw something I'd never seen there before. The light of happiness. Someday, I think we'll become closer than mere friends. We'll truly understand each other. Someday, we'll both laugh together on the bottom of our hearts. We've reached the end, but I can't say I'm totally satisfied. I know what you mean, but at least we're finally free. If things stayed like they were, you'd never be able to continue your training, right? Of course. Indeed. I can feel the absence of the strength I lost in here. I need to gain it all back again. Which means I must now train even harder. Living here must have been really hard for you. However... Oh no, not at all. It was uncomfortable at times, but my time here has given me another sort of strength. Another sort of strength? Mental fortitude? Of course. That's right. You taught me the importance of withstanding difficulties like this. If I'd never come here, if I'd never met you, I never would have gained that kind of invisible strength. Aren't you exaggerating a little? However... No, not at all. I truly believe it. Before we leave, Makoto, I wanted to talk to you about something. As I told you before, I've sworn to defeat Kenshiro and prove that I am the strongest human alive. And when I fight him, I would like you to be there as our witness. What? Me? Normally, we would not need a witness for such a battle. I know that neither he nor I would try to deceive or cheat the other. Then why? I'm a total amateur, right? Having me there would be totally meaningless. No, there would be meaning in it, even if only for me. For you? However... I... I want you to see me defeat him. Not just because I want to earn the title. I... I want to put an end to the matter of my attraction to him. And then I can ask you... So in the end... No, I can't talk about that yet. Not until I'm finished with him. But can you grant me my wish? Yes, of course. When I answered, Sakura replied with a shy smile. I'm sorry. Thank you, Makoto. Truly. It was the pleasant smile of a young girl. I could feel the strength of our bond. And that bond is unbreakable. Makoto, do you remember my dream? To realize that dream, I will allow you to give me all of yourself. At last, things are ready to begin. S sorry, but what are you talking about? You do not have to play dumb. You do not have to pretend to be shy anymore. From now on, you may serve me as my knight. I am granting you the opportunity to obtain true peace of mind. Go ahead, you may rejoice. Um... I mean, yeah, I'm pretty happy right now. Wow. How very modest of you. <laughs> well, that is fine. Let's see. By the way, you obviously know our next destination after we leave this place, yes? Destination? A European castle? <laughs> I knew you would remember. You truly are worthy of serving as my knight. 
Perhaps it's time to consider promoting you to B rank. What? <laughs> Perhaps it's time to consider promoting you to B rank. Um, huh? <laughs> Perhaps it's time to consider promoting you to B rank. Thank you? <laughs> Naturally. However, you should not thank me just yet. Bear in mind that your promotion depends on the work you put in this... Promote... You put in this... You put in from this point forward. Got it. As for me, My dream... To live in a European castle... And collect beautiful butlers slash bodyguards from around the world and dress them like vampires. Then I will spend the rest of my life worshipping such beauty in my world of decadence. This is fine. Now then, Makoto, please begin making our preparations immediately. Huh? I have to do it? Let's see. Graduating from Hope's Peak was to guarantee me a lifetime of success. That was how I intended to raise the funds I would need. But unfortunately, that no longer appears to be an option. Oh, but doing what you ask isn't as easy as you make it sound, you know. Indeed. Perhaps, but it is not impossible. With you standing next to me, I am certain. Celeste has a solid grasp on her hope for the future. What's in the dream is all over the place, but she was signing so bright, I thought I might go blind. <laughs> Remember, this is your master's dream. As such, you should consider it your dream as well. Now, let us depart. Onward, toward the day we stand atop our castle together. Celeste held out her hand to me. Trying my best to assume the rule of a knight, I took it with as much respect as possible. I don't know what the future holds, but I know what to expect when it comes to the people here. Celeste has high expectations, so I have to think hard about what I can do to live up to them. For the first time since coming to the school, a vivid image of the future filled my heart. Junko? Is everything okay? Huh? Yeah, everything's fine. Why? And... You're the one who decided to come and talk to me, right? Oh, well, I just thought you seemed a little... different than normal. If there's something bothering you, you can tell me. I might not be much, but I'd be happy to listen. Hmm. Makoto, if I... If I said... If I said that we should stay here together, what would you do? What? Why would you say that? And... Don't worry about it. Just tell me. What would you do? Would you stay here with me? Hold on. Why would you want to stay here? I mean... Didn't you want to search for a new dream? After we got out of here? Hmm. You're right. But when you think about it, the idea of chasing a dream is just too vague. There's no substance to it. No clue what it even means. You just end up desperate and lost. And then everything you've done is a waste. Besides, before I ever find what I'm looking for, the world might come to an end or something. The world might... What do you mean? Aww. Oh, relax, it's just a silly metaphor. But still, it's not like you to get so scared imagining stuff like that. Huh? Scared? Me? That's how it seems to me. It's okay to get lost. It's okay to keep searching. That by itself is better than not even trying. You said that, remember? So why are you so scared now? And... Stop talking, Makoto. I'm not scared, and of course I remember. I said it, didn't I? I mean, sure. I do want to believe that there's something better waiting for me out there. Which is why... Anyway, I have one more question. From this point on, no matter what happens, even if I don't seem like myself, will you stay by my side? I can feel her eyes boring into me. Someone... They feel different from the Junko I'm used to talking to. But seeing her standing in front of me, there's no doubt she's the same friend I've come to know. What are you talking about? You've never been anyone but yourself. You're the same girl I've known all along. Who else could you be? Mm -hmm. and... Hey, uh, Makoto, I don't understand a word you're saying, you know. Yeah. But it's okay. I think I get what you mean. But are you sure about all this? I... I've always been a disappointment, at least according to her. But now I'm all alone. I just don't know what to do from here on out. You're not alone, Junko. I'll always be by your side. We can walk together, searching for that dream. 
And if we get lost, if we run into trouble, we can do that together too. I'd like that. Thank you, Makoto. But she still looked troubled somehow. All I wanted was to make her feel better, so without thinking, I took her hand. Uh huh? She looked surprised, but then she gripped my hand in response, so tight it hurt. When you look at me, when I feel your hand in mine, I know that I'm real. Junko. The Junko I'd seen before, and the Junko I was seeing now, it was almost like there were two of her. I feel like she must have a secret, one she can't tell me just yet. But no matter what it is, no matter what happens, I will never let go of her hand. On my own soul, promise. And that's how my school life at Hope's Peak Academy came to an end.